What's up guys, this is Patrick Jensen here, uh, back for another Twitch stream. It's March 22nd, uh, 2016, and uh, I'm excited to, to get this going with you guys again. It's so funny, I, I said I was going to start at noon, and what do you know, the gardener shows up right at noon. So, um, I apologize for the leaf blowing in the background. Uh, they'll be done in just a, a few minutes, but that's life, right? So, show must go on. And uh, they'll, they'll be done soon, so hang in there, guys. <laughs> um, yeah, so um, I, I, we had a ton of fun last time, like doing some elven architecture and some... Uh, we started with like black and white thumbnails, and, um, and then we did a color paint over, kind of refining one of them and bringing it to finish. So I thought today would be fun to uh, go ahead and do some sci-fi fantasy um like planetary kind of exteriors uh with you guys and perhaps we'll take one to finish but i just want to kind of jam out some ideas and have fun sketching those things with you and um and uh yeah get your thoughts and feedback and stuff feel free to comment and join along what's up Incidium? how you doing and if you're watching this later um you can watch past broadcasts and and um on YouTube or on Twitch and uh, again if you're just popping in the leaf guy is going to be done in just a second if it's too annoying I'll just cut out for a moment and then come back but they'll be done in just a few minutes <laughs> it's so funny so I'm going to go ahead and get started with some thumbnails and uh, we'll just see, see what happens. Um, there we go. Looks like everything good. Oh good, you caught the post on Facebook so you cleared your schedule. Sweet! Awesome! Well thanks for coming, I appreciate it. Are you on the west coast or are you having lunch? Are you somewhere in the world? Let's see, let's do BG texture fast. So we're going to start with kind of this red planetary, planet, planetary, I'm, uh, I'll, I'll get in the groove here in a second, uh, <laughs> so pardon me, um, we're going for an orangey planet, maybe a lava planet, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Coming up to this, uh, I don't know. We're just sketching. We're just sketching. We'll, we'll come up with some stuff as we go. Is it red? I could make it blue. Clear. Oh man. So many options. England, dude. It's 7 p.m. over here. Awesome. It's gonna do some college work, but this is just as efficient to improve. Nice. Well, you can have it on in the background, and do your work too, and just glance over once in a while. But th thanks for dropping in. So we got some kind of ship foreman back here. I, I thought it was like a biodome for a second. Um, but it could be a ship. We'll see in a sec. Um, now I'm just, I laid down a couple colors, the reds and the greens, to kind of get things going. Now I'm just kind of pulling out forms and thinking about, you know, what, what forms are coming towards us, what are, what are going away. 
And then uh, we can play with what's back here and stuff in more detail as we go. This is just one way of thumbnailing and color. Um, and you'll see how it goes. Let's see, if we get some more texture down here, I'll show you, we can uh, get some perspective on the ground and then that'll help everything. So I'll just get some stuff like this. And then you can just select all that, uh, paste it, and Control T, transform, get something like this. And where's the viewer? Probably over here. Set up the vanishing point. Is it slanted? It could be slanted. That'd be cool. Just trying to get some nice. Yeah, that looks good. So now we can work off that. I'm not really trying to be too accurate with perspective, you know, it's just kind of indicating because you can always, always, you know, refine things later. We're just trying to have some fun and get things going. I think I'll start painting along. Love the way you're just able to see what happens after laying stuff down. Yeah, this is, uh, uh, you know, there's many ways to go about thumbnailing, and this is just one of them. Uh, it's kind of being open to happy accidents, right? And letting the brush strokes dictate what's there and stuff. And so now I'm just going to do a couple adjustment layers and kind of bring, let's see where it could go as far as lighting. And then we can keep painting after that, but um, yeah, so we'll see. I'm just gonna play with some color balance. See if I find something neat. Ooh, see, it's fun. Like it started out red, but maybe the blue is kind of fun to do. Or green. I'm digging something in there, actually. They can all change very, very quickly. And if you were doing these two, like we could do a red, oops, sorry guys. Um, put that there. Um, oh, someone asked what the canvas dimensions for the thumbnail is. Uh, this is 1200 pixels wide. Um, just so I can, the, the brush strokes don't slow down when I'm, when I'm sketching these out. So, um, uh, so you can see right here, it's at 100% view. You can just keep an eye on that in case things change. Um, but uh, that, that's so you know that if we go, if we zoom in, it, it'll be pixelated and stuff. Um, so I like that, but maybe not everywhere. So let's see. So maybe we have like a reddish foreground. The mo This could be moss. So let's make that moss. And then the ship. Let's go ahead and cool it down, okay? And then we'll keep that little red fog over there. Cool. I'm liking that. And let's punch up that, that color. We could do it in paint, though. Let's go ahead and keep painting. So I'm just going to blue this up with some paint. There we go. Okay, now let's see. <laughs> and I don't know how long we'll spend on each of these. Um, so we'll play it by ear. <laughs> But I'm glad the gardener stopped, so <laughs> sorry about that, guys. I don't know how loud it was. Hopefully it wasn't too loud. All right, this guy. Hmm. 
see, we could do... I'm going to try something. So I have this block brush. Looks like this. If I just do a... It's kind of square, but it's got some texture to it. Um, I'm going to flatten this guy out. And I'm going to set its angle to rotation. Because I'm using my art pen. So I can tilt it like that to get the different angles. Um, Let's just see about playing with this. Let's see. And it might not be the right brush for this, but what if we Yeah, it's I probably need something a little more square. But it'll be fun to get some stuff in. Just, I don't know. Oh, you know what would be cool? Let's see. What if this is an entrance to something? So, and I get some fog in there, some of that red fog. Fix the perspective a little bit. I don't know if it's green. Maybe it'll be all that pale blue. Could be hit by. Let's see. Yeah, let's see. Just seeing if that's kind of where I want things to go. Maybe, maybe. Is this the, is this the Shaddy Safadi brush set? I recognize that Daniel shape. Um, you know, I'm not sure. <laughs> um, uh, you're talking about the the square one that I'm using. I'm not sure. I haven't gotten some new brushes in a while, so if his, if their if their uh, set was made a while ago. And perhaps, I don't know, it's a mixture of uh, stuff from various people and my own. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure. Okay, let's see. Um, just going to warp this thing a little bit. Just checking stuff out. Just wondering if. No, I guess not. I do like that better though. Okay. Um. Could be smoke over here, maybe. Kind of fun. Okay, and let's get some contrast on this area right here. So, just gonna do something like this. There we go. Yeah, let's work on the ground a little bit. So this is uh, not for anything, of course, it's just um, 
fun personal explorations and things. Uh, but that said, uh, there's some new Destiny con content coming out soon, and I'm a big fan of that game, so um, hence the inspired theme today of doing some sci-fi landscape thumbnails. So, and actually, we could we could move on to a new one and just see. We might come back to it, but we could we could uh, do some other ones. It's just a nice little warm up. Yeah, let's do another one. Cool. Um, okay. Yeah, that's good. Sketch one. Save. Cool. Actually, we'll just we'll get rid of this guy. All right. Let's do another one. And then uh, if we find a good one, we, we might refine it today or we could refine it next time. But um, we'll just we'll just play around until we hit something that we like. And see what we can we can come up with today. Let's see. So I'm just starting with some broad shapes that kind of might indicate or help help figure out the composition composition and what I want to kind of uh, make and stuff. So uh, this would be if like the client was wanting something like um, we need some planetary locations, some sets, just have fun with it. See, we need different color schemes. Um, think about where it would be whether on Mars or Venus or other planets and otherwise just uh, explore and then we can always flesh things out later. Um, so that's kind of what this would be. So here we got a little, I think of it as like a bridge maybe. And you have this platform here with a little mezzanine area. And what if we get into some marble type architecture, but you know, And everything is curvy. Let's see. And then what would be fun is if, well, you'll see. Maybe this is, oh, whoa. <laughs> Maybe this is on the ocean or something. Um, We'll get that ocean in there in just a second. Hey, Leox. Leox. How's it going? Um. All right. I'm going to select all this blue and make a new group, put a mask on it, and I'm going to put a layer in, in that mask. 
And let's figure out this uh, ocean. And we are going to be maybe a horizon around here. Um, so let's see what we could do. Let's do. And we have the, the sun coming from the left. Here, we'll first block this in. This will be water. And put the sky underneath. Okay. Cool. And then we'll preserve transparency on the water, which is just clicking that guy. All right. I got a couple ocean brushes. Help us out with things. So we'll just ping this side. Maybe we'll flip the light, I'm not sure. We'll see. <laughs> you look away for three seconds and there's a beautiful place. Oh, thanks. Yeah, really with this kind of stuff, it's, you know, just those, that V shape, and a little platform is all that I was thinking about to get this going. And then uh, now it's all about just realizing that space and seeing seeing where it could go. Um, is this stuff filled in? Let's see. I think so. No? What do we got going? Let's see. Um, one second. Oh, this is, we need that down here. Okay, cool. Let's do sky and Just blocking in some clouds. We can refine them later, but um, I don't want to see about this. This guy. I like it being real dark, as if we're kind of exposing for the sky. Uh, make this kind of a shadier place. Kind of fun. Okay, let's see. What about that water? Um, get some greens in there. Just subtle. And cloud reflections. Some stuff like that. Cool. All right. Now we'll just paint on the top and see about this place a little bit. some holes I don't know could be a little ledge out here maybe actually it's this reddish I don't know just plain Was our figure. Uh. Yeah, 
some will probably just sketch for maybe an hour, hour or two. We'll see how it goes and see how many we can do. Kanoka, thanks for following me. Thanks for stopping in too. Eh. On Sidium, thanks for following me. I appreciate it. Okay, what's in this this door? It could be. We'll just kind of get something in there. Let's do. Oh, maybe not. I don't know. I'm just playing right now. Let's take a. What if we do. I'm just I'm just playing. Maybe there's there's uh. I won't go with this lime green. I'm just testing it out. But it seems like if you're right in the ocean here, maybe there would be. Uh, Pretty vines and things, and maybe a tree here. Yeah, let's just get that in the right space because it is crazy with the lime green. Uh, that's cool. I'll take that. Nice little ocean palace. And the trees kind of break up the, the architecture a little bit and the vines and things. Well, I'm kind of liking it. We'll try it out. And when it gets hit from sun, maybe somewhere in there. Just, there we go. And that red is weird. So let's just, cool. kind of fun. Yeah. It's like a little teapot, right? <laughs> These little handles. That's nah, okay. Uh, let's get that blue. There we go. Nope. Uh, there we go. Cool. I think that's good for that. 
Oh, that was a fun one. Um, Okay, number two. All right, that one's fun. Right there. All right. Let's actually take this guy, make a new canvas, and actually just so I can get the dimensions, and that's good. All right. Is this helpful or is this fun? <laughs> I'm just I'm just playing along, uh, but feel free to like chime in with questions or um, you know uh, say hey. It's uh it's great to to have a few few of you out there watching along. So, um, what we could do? Let's try. Let's think in. That's pretty cool. Uh, kind of did a blue one. Could do a Jupiter color palette. Since we're kind of doing some spacey landscapes and stuff. Ah, oh, this is wicked. Okay, we'll use this. So we'll, we'll get some color going up from from this guy. Um, and see if we can come up with a cool place for a Jupiter-inspired play uh, location. I know it's a gas plant, but that's okay. We're just using it as color inspiration. Um, yeah, I guess we could do. It's like this nice <sighs> see with space you can break the rules a little bit whether there's like low atmosphere or no atmosphere or is it lighter on the horizon or darker on the horizon I mean there's rules that earth follows for landscapes like this but since it is we can play with how much space we see versus how much we don't, that kind of stuff. I'm just mumbling, but it might might be cool to show some space back here. A quick soup scope, quick scope. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, appreciate it. Let's see what kind of place is this. It's nice to get a better square brush. Let's go ahead and just make one. Um, uh, actually, we'll do a rounded, rounded rectangle. Because I don't know if I have a square brush, so this will be perfect. Actually, we could do we could always squish it. So let's do a square. Okay. Grab that. Find brush preset, cool. All right, uh, I got that, and then we'll do tweak the the parameters on the sky. Let's do I like transfer, of course. Both is fine. Let's get the spacing down a little bit. So this is a square. Cool. A little color dynamics, not too much. Um, that's fine. Um, yeah, I think that's good. Okay, cool. Then I'll make a preset, and we'll do. I do have a square up there. Let's see what that is like. Uh, square, rounded. Okay, and it's right here now. What's this one? 
Oh, that's a square line. Okay, cool. We might use that later. But at least we have this guy now. All right. Okay, let's see. So I'm just going to get some shapes in here, and then we'll see what happens with it. Oh. Too fast, too fast. Try this. Just getting a little selection going, get something chiseled out, help with the form of this guy. Maybe that come, comes like it's a broken arc or something. I don't know. Yeah, square brush is fun. Push and pull shapes and get some cool architecture going real fast. This could be even, oh, let's see. <laughs> it's terrible, but it's enough. You know when you download a new brush set and they're all really nice, but you have no idea how to apply them? I'm in that boat right now. Oh. Um, I think breaking it down, like maybe maybe the next one we do, um, uh, I'll do it just with the normal circle brush and the fuzzy brush, <laughs> excuse me, and this new square one that we're using. Um, and you can see how it's... Uh, um, and maybe a regular smudge because this one is a sporadic kind of sp uh, smudge but um, as far as how to use the brushes I guess that just comes down down to practice with them and seeing if you like it or not um, the best way to go about it is uh, painting something that you see, um, like copying a photo um, or copying something on your desk or what, you, what you're looking at or copy from a book so you can't color pick or anything. Um, when you copy an image and use brushes, like especially new brushes, um, you know the result you need to get because you can see the finished image that you're trying to replicate, you know? Um, so that's probably the best way to learn how to use your brushes. Or it's just one, one way you could try. Um, um, nah. Because if you're painting from scratch and you don't know where it could go, where the piece could go, um, it might be harder to assess what it is you need to do next with those brushes, especially if you're not used to them, that kind of thing. Uh, just a thought, I don't know.
let's see. Actually, we could use some of this. Let's go ahead and use use this guy. We'll just get some some help down here. Uh, let's see. What about overlay? It's kind of cool. I like it. Sure. Oh good, I'm glad that's helpful. Um, my approach these days and with these is I'm indicating certain things like right now I'm thinking about a mountain back here a little slope in the distance and uh, I can always work on making it more believable later by adjusting a saturation or a contrast or adding fog on the top to put it back in the distance more or um, uh, it's putting down the starting the 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 building blocks of different um, shapes and ideas, and then refining the readability of those ideas as I go. You know, um, for example, like this the saturated orange doesn't quite work back here. Um, because it's popping forward too much, so I'm going to fuzz that out and then fog that up. And I mean, this isn't reading as a mountain but yet, but it might. So I'll try for a little bit. Maybe I don't like it later, but the idea is to try to get something going. And then we can always change it. I guess just being free to make mistakes is what I'm saying. It's okay to not know what you're doing. Because you can always pull up reference if it's like, oh, I gotta make that look more believable. I better pull up those things that you're trying to make, and then it gets easier. Uh, someone popped in, said, "What are you working on?" <laughs> I'm doing some uh, some just fun sci-fi kind of landscapes um, for fun, just to, just to sketch different areas and. Uh, as if it would be a game or an RPG or um, that kind of thing. Fun places to visit or, or go on an adventure. That's today's theme. We did an elven architecture kind of themed uh, live stream last time. Uh, so I thought it'd be fun to do a sci-fi one. Uh, hey, sciology, sciology, how's it going? do and really this is just kind of practicing sketching and um, thumbnailing and stuff about Oh, nope.
and we might move on to the next one here soon. This is really just the impression of a place, then actually trying to figure it out. Um, we'll see how many we can bust out today for fun. Color dodge action. Gotta love that. Some more of that, more of that uh, red vegetation. Oh, thanks! Someone just ticked out the, the website. Do rake rotation. More of these guys in here. Are these brushes I built? No, uh uh. Some of them. Uh, I usually build a brush like we did earlier. We made a square brush because I didn't have one that was quite like what I was wanting. Um, I usually build brushes that I need specifically. I run into a jam and I'm like, ah, a, new, a brush would be good for this. But um, a lot of these just pulling from, from the internet. You could just search uh, concept art brushes or free Photoshop brushes and you'll get a ton. Uh, <laughs> so, And then I like to, when you get a ton, it, just play through all of them and see which ones are kind of kind of nice, that makes sense to you. Um, and then I like to make a tool preset uh, for them and just um, uh, name them what I what I, what makes sense to me uh, and then I kind of have my go-to brushes here that I, I try to keep organized. Um, that's kind of how, how this works. Or what, what, I'm, what I'm using. Okay, cool. We're going to start on a new one. This was a cool one. Yeah, good. All right, number three. And it's funny, with something like this, you could easily do a color balance and get something completely different. That's the joy of this, um, of when you're exploring like this. What I would do is save out options. Um, especially for these kind of fantasy worlds. Uh, you could save out different options of color palettes and see which one you like best. Um, even that's... Huh? But I like it. Ooh. Maybe I'll just add a little bit of this. It needs a little, little sweetening right there. Uh, a little more yellow.
or sweetening in the clouds. Nice, that's written good. All right, we'll start on a new one. Um, yeah, so one of my favorite brushes is this this one. And what it has is um, under color dynamics, if you set the control to pen pressure um, on any brush, um, that means that the lighter you press, it'll be green. The darker you press, it's gonna be the, the foreground red. So you can basically load those two colors. Um, so I got a red and then I'll put a blue. And I'm hitting X to switch between these. So I have a red to a blue, right? So the softer I press, it's gonna be blue bluish see the blue and then the harder I press it's red or I can hit X and then the softer I press it's red and then the harder I press it's blue that's how I'm getting the the color vari variation on, on each stroke um, so again that's color dynamics and you want to do control pen pressure and then you, you get that variation that's kind of what I'm what I'm using it's handy when you're playing with playing with color like this um, cool. As far as sci-fi goes, I have a soft spot for Blade Runner-like neon landscapes, cityscapes. Oh, let's do one of those. That would be awesome. Um, oops. <laughs> Let's do something around here. I haven't watched Blade Runner in a while. So we'll just wing it. But I think I... Uh, let's get that yellow yogurt. So I'm going to put the horizon up high. And I'm just going to blur all this stuff. And we're going to be using a lot of fog, which will be fun. Get that dirty haze in the background. And what we'll do, we'll just play with... Uh, What will I do with my sketches after I make them, after the Twitch session? So I'll put them all at metavisuals.live uh, and they'll show up there for you guys afterwards. So, um, so if you go metavisuals.live and then you'll see past broadcasts um, and then I'll put all the images uh, here for you guys. Um, and you can watch the YouTube stream in case you missed it. Um, and then you've got the, the finals and stuff. This is from last time, which is pretty fun. So they'll all be here for you guys um, at metavisuals.live. So, yeah. I'll put them up uh, probably this afternoon. I'll get those up there for you guys. Actually, let's use our, our square brush that we're doing. Oh, thanks for following me. Appreciate it. The so buildings kind of get darker as they get higher, especially out of the fog or Blade Runner type type movies and stuff. Um, so that's kind of what we're setting up. Then we can tweak the shapes of these as we go and think about rooftops and stuff. There's a lot of ways to do this, but um, I'm just trying one approach right now. Let's get these uh, a little lighter for you guys. Um, somewhere in there. And what we could do, I'm going to just try something. Um, Hang in there. Uh, let's do. Let's 
I guess this is fine. So this is going to be a selection mask for the rooftops, I think. We'll try it. We'll see. We'll see if it works. Again, like, don't know what I'm doing, but kind of know it. I have an idea of what I want to try to get to. So if I get this into perspective, if you're ever doing a transform like this, um, it's handy, and it, and it goes outside your your bounds like this. It's hard to to get to it. So I find that if I do control alt minus that'll zoom out and then I can pull it out and I can get to more of this, you know, if it goes too far past the canvas. I don't know, that might make sense. Maybe maybe not, but there we go. Okay, cool. That's fine. Okay, so if we preserve transparency on this and then we can do, we can paint on it, right? And then what you could do is drop a building below each each of these roofs. Um, that makes sense. And then we can paint on the roof as we go, but this just helps you randomly think about where buildings are. That's one idea. And you'll see it's getting into perspective more now. And then we'll add all the cool lights afterwards. And then since you have that mask now, you can Play with what's in each of these. Make it lighter, darker, whatever you want. But at least we have the, the city going back now. Um, let's see. Cool. Now what we could do, let's do a channel mixer and try to get some cool colors in here. I'm looking down here right now. Channel Mixer is nice because it does typically look uh, illuminated, whatever you're doing, um, with the colors and stuff. So. See, I'm just going to fade this down and get the city kind of glowing a bit. So we're going to try to sell the idea that uh, the planet is disgusting on the horizon as far as the atmosphere on the top. And then down low, it's like thriving with all the neon lights and stuff. So that's kind of what, what I'm thinking about. That, that That's what I think of when I think Blade Runner and stuff. You're just gonna watch now. Awesome. Hey Knox, how you doing? Knox is Knox has been here before. I remember you. Um and what I might do, let's do let's put this guy up here and get a hard light layer. And we'll go real saturated and light. And this can get your Gotta get real saturated with it. Actually, I might set my brush to color dodge. And so we'll start getting some lights in here. And we can duplicate this and then blur it and get some glow. Right now, I'm just getting some lights down there. Actually, we can. Maybe I'll do noisy brush. There we go. So I have my brush set to color dodge. The layer is hard light. And you can get those 
glowy lights going on real fast. I'm just doing a little smudging action. It might be too saturated, but we can change that later. But at least the color's there to add some variety to this. Oh, we'll definitely add a lens flare at the end. <laughs> that'll be that'll be good. Um, now the scale on the background, let's just bring that down. Meaning the brush strokes are too too big, so we just need some smaller stuff back there to help with the scale. Oh, I'm glad you're doing well. I'm doing well too. <laughs> Glad you're liking these so far. Oh, and we gotta get some flying ships, of course. That'll be... We could pull up some reference too from... Oh, aren't there like... There's the... Uh, it's like oil... Uh, rigs, right? With the smoke coming up and stuff. Let's get a couple of those guys. Or not oil, but pollution, you know what I mean. <laughs> you know what I mean. There we go. Let's get some of these guys. You feeling some yellow lights? Yeah, we'll get some yellow lights in there too. yellow lights. Let's go back to our hard light layer and get this back to we can do linear dodge this time. It doesn't matter. Sometimes. Uh, let's see. Let's get these being yellow. Oh, too much. What we could do too, let's uh, let's do uh, um, Let's just get some lights in here too. That'll help us out. Um, there we go. Color dodge, sweet. Put a mask on it. And can get the indication. Well, let's do. do, 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 do. some some of that Hong Kong in there that's nice and let's just see about um, actually I'm just gonna unlink the mask in the picture and then see about maybe stretching this up a little bit yeah Sharpen. Oh, thanks for the donation. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, Car uh, Carcaranama. Carcaranonymous. 
Thank you so much. <laughs> I really appreciate it. It's very nice of you. I'm glad you like the yellow lights. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, I made my day. I sure appreciate it. Yeah, these are these are free, as it says in the description. These are totally free to watch and on YouTube and Twitch. And um, um, I just uh, I I don't have time to do edited like lessons and demos um, and get those on a store and and try to sell those. Uh, but what I can do is is come on live with you guys and and I like it because uh, you can ask questions and and you can make suggestions like doing this piece and stuff and and so I sure appreciate the uh, the donations um, which helps me kind of make more of these for you guys and stuff it all it all helps so I really appreciate it thank you so much all right so now we're gonna do some adjustments and just kind of find the happy place for this piece and then maybe we'll call it a day on this one. I do like it a little more punchy. And you know what, actually, because we have some range to work with, I'm gonna just take a look at, when you do a color lookup, and then you hit this guy, and I know it's white, it's just because of my settings of windows and stuff, but just select one of them, and if you're on a Windows, you can down arrow through these. And look at that, that's, that's pretty cool for the background and stuff. Excuse me. Um, so I'm gonna invert that mask, and you can find some happy happy accents with the uh, with the with the color lookup. I'll do it again. Uh, color lookup, and then you hit the sky. Just tap on these, and then you can thumb through it. Um, sometimes you get some cool ones. That's pretty cool. Ooh, I like the darkness. Let's let's do that. Okay, I'm gonna invert that because I don't want it everywhere, uh, but I do want it on the foreground here. And see, we're getting more depth. All right, now I'm just gonna paint over everything real quick, and then we'll call this one final. Um, what I'm noticing though, oops, what if we take this guy? Um. And what if we extend the canvas? I'm gonna try something. Pull it out here. And I'm just gonna take this guy and stretch it. Yeah, it's feeling a little bit better. And okay, so now we're just gonna bring this one home. So. Oh, wow. Thank you so much for the $10 donation. Uh, keep up the great work. I'm taking off. Great watching you. Oh, thanks so much. I hope you can make it next time. You can follow on Twitch or uh, Twitter, Facebook, whatever your preference is. And, and um, yeah, I hope to see you next time. I'm so glad you stopped by. And uh, thanks again for the donation. That's really generous of you. Uh, hope you have a great day. That was Carquinonymous. Uh, that's nice. Man. Awesome. Whoa. I don't want shift keys or whatever that was. So now I'm just going to refine some of this, but it's good enough for a thumbnail phase for a mood piece. We'll just uh, change some of the silhouettes on these guys. Oh, Blade Runner usually has the, or has those um, pyramid. That pyramid location, that's pretty cool. We'll get one back here. Oh man, and it's got a uh, color dodge.
So now we just have a color dodge brush on a baked layer. And baked means I just grabbed everything and copied and pasted it. So it's just a, a flat layer that can take uh, brush modes like this. All right, we'll take our fuzz brush and I'm just gonna squeeze it down and we'll do a new layer. Set this to, to color dodge, that's fine. Okay, and grab a blue and we'll just, uh, maybe we'll hit this guy. Well, we can move it, one second. And we can blur that guy, blur, motion blur. Put this down at zero. And find a good spot for that. It'll be down here. Mm -hmm. And we'll just echo one over here, more blue. Little lens flare action doesn't hurt, especially for a piece like this, right? And yeah, we can turn that down because it's a little too much. Cool. Copy that guy, and we'll just ping a little light here. There we go. Justify that. And we have that. Oh. Well, no, not anymore. Okay. I was going to say we had a selection for the roofs, but we don't have any more. We don't have it anymore. Okay. Okay, I think this is good for a thumbnail. This is a good color, color palette sketch for a Blade Runner type place. Suggestion by one of you guys. That was fun. So thank you so much. Man, we're having fun. Hope you, hope you guys are having fun. Huh. One seventeen. So we've been going for an hour seventeen. Um, maybe we call it, or should we do one more? Let's do one more. Okay. One more, guys. Then we'll call it a day. Um, let's see. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm thinking purple. We got blue, orange, red, or a little bit. Um, maybe. Well, we could always change it. Just gonna get started. Let's see. And actually, why don't we just? Oh, hey. Oh, thanks so much. Uh, street talk, street talk. There you go. How's it going? Good to see you again. Um, I don't know what I'm painting on this one yet, but uh, it will find itself soon. Let's see. Trying to think of something different than what we've been doing. Uh, 
Oh man, okay. Kind of inspired by that uh, pyramid that we did in the last one. Let's see about this. Cool, I'm liking it. Uh, let's see, what if we do, no, maybe, sure. Whoop, did that again. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh. I could do that. Let's do something like that and then let's just grab those pinks. I'm gonna use a selective color and grab the magenta. And let's see if we can bring those to a better place. This might not be the right approach, but it'll just get those guys gone. Yeah, that's fine. Let's see before and after. Um, let's do another color balance. There we go. That's a better place. I'm liking that. Let's keep moving. So sometimes I just pause and do a couple adjustments like that, get the colors in the in a better space, and then keep going. So um, and then just grabbing so we have like a cool cool something going on here. With a nice little deserty location, and um, see where this goes. Actually, let's just grab the sky. Some of that, Oop, not that. And we can get some more of that blue in there. There we go. Pink be gone, that's right. <laughs> Do, let's do that square. Oh, I forgot about my, my cool diamond brush. Well, I call it a diamond brush, but it looks like that. I guess it's a tree kind of thing. But So we're on a new layer. Let's see. There we go. And I'm just going to try to figure out some of these forms. So I'm going to pull out some light on some of this and see what, where I could go. Uh, I want to do uh, yeah so I'm thinking of the light coming from the right and what is that hitting and then I'm gonna just pull out different forms and 
and get this thing, give it some shape. Whoop. And let's see. Um, be cool if inside it was all dark in there. There's a couple holes poking through. So maybe you go in and explore it in there and stuff. Gets more contrast. I'm going to do a levels. Bring it down to just about black. And then I'm going to invert that. And I want this in there. Let's see. And we'll do that in the foreground too. Cool. I'm just kind of popping out some of these guys. And chisel out some of that negative space, figure out what this guy is. How far back does it go? Let's do a channel mixer and I'm going to grab the red channel and up the red, up the green. I'm going to go to the green channel, up the red, right around there. I'm going to invert that, control I, and then I'm going to paint just some hot spots on this guy towards the ground. You can always adjust it once you're done with that mask. Whoops, sorry guys. <laughs> All right, let's see. Just wondering what this is made of. Do sure doesn't have to be perfect for a sketch. It doesn't I'm just roughing in stuff, but these lines can help with the the form. Let's try some cool light on the side. So I'm going to grab this value here. And I'm just going to add a little bit of blue, less in the red a little bit. Maybe a little bit more blue, less red. And you'll get a nice cool light for the side of this guy. 
And what we could do is introduce that. I'm going to do a selection color range and select this guy. Pause that down. Um, maybe, 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 maybe we'll do color dodge. Let's get some fog on this stuff. Cool. <laughs> Just having fun. Having fun. <laughs> All right. Have you tried the smaller Wacom tablets? Does size matter? <laughs> um, I have worked on smaller ones. And... <laughs> Excuse me. Um, it doesn't... I, I, I kind of want to lean to saying it doesn't matter, but... Um, I would just caution being careful with uh, repetitive stress injury for the small ones. If you're noodling detail, on a little tablet like this. Um, that's the only bummer of small ones. Uh, you, you could totally do it and you can get more movement on there if you zoom in or because you know this is to the whole screen. So there's ways to kind of loosen yourself up with the smaller one. Uh, just making sure you're, you're zooming in and out of your canvas and getting different ranges of motion and stuff. Um, I, my, my preference uh, is, is larger the better. Um, but uh, you can, it doesn't matter as far as getting the work done. So um, you can get the work done on either um, in any size. So it's just a matter of what do you want to be using uh, for eight hours, 10 hours a day or more sometimes. Uh, what's not going to hurt you because, you know, you don't want to hurt yourself doing this. So that's why I like the, the big one, because I'm not, sometimes I'll rest my elbow if I'm tired, but um, otherwise I'm using my whole arm to make these, these brush strokes and stuff. So, hope that answers your question. I think we're getting there on this one. So I was just trying to sell, I mean, it'd be cool to make this into like a little barracks or not a barracks. Yeah, maybe they turned it into a little weapons cache or something. Um, but it's good enough for a thumbnail. Poke some better holes in there. Cool. God, that's that's helpful. I'm just getting some, some last little brush strokes to just kind of harmonize it and get it all into that sketchy feel. Um, yeah, it's looking good. Uh, and we'll just do the last little color balance and see if we can't find a better, better place for this piece. Ooh, sometimes I mess it up, but. Um, 
It's always good to check. So I'm just rocking these back and forth and then seeing if I find something that's nicer than what I had before. Um, yeah, before, after, before, after. So before, the little tinted red overall, this just kind of, I like how it looks. It uh, adds a little bit of that cool, cool light in there. Um, add some atmosphere back here. And... And I'll just turn that down a little bit. Because when you're painting opaque like this, sometimes you need to uh, soften things up. A lot of my brushes are full opaque. They're not, uh, I'm not, I don't have opacity low and I'm uh, bringing it up. A lot of these brushes, if I push down, it's 100% paint. Um, just because it's quicker to get things in there for me if my brush is 100% like that. Um, so it's always good to soften things up if you do that. Um, Nice. That's good for a sketch. Yeah. Nice. All right, we'll save this as sketch number five. And we will call it a day, folks. So that was about an hour and a half. Um, hope you guys had fun. We, we did. Let's just ch check these out real quick. Um, started with this one and it's always good to warm up because you know the next one was a little bit stronger <laughs> and um, nice little ocean palace thing um, I like this one a lot with the the arch and the kind of little courtyard back there with the red trees and stuff um, someone suggested a Blade Runner piece so we did a little cityscape there um, starting real simple and Stepping through, and the lights, the blooms, smoke. Bring the canvas out. Lens flare, of course. Yeah, so that was a good time. And uh, wrapped it up with this little desert place. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, <laughs> I sure had fun. And um, uh, I will post all these on metavisuals.live afterwards, uh, this afternoon probably. And I'll have a link to the YouTube video for you guys as well. So um, stay tuned for that. And otherwise, thank you guys for hanging out, asking some questions and putting some suggestions out there. And if, if, you, uh, if you know of anybody who would enjoy these kind of videos, feel free to share, like, or subscribe, or you know, let them know about this. And, and um, uh, I sure appreciate it. So um, uh, yeah, so hopefully you make it out next time if you didn't see this one live. And uh, I'll catch you next time. But uh, thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. I'll see you around, okay?